Hey everyone, Adam here. Welcome back. Today we're talking about widgets. What they are, how to make one, and possibly when to use them. But that of course is entirely up to you. So let's get into SimHub and get started. Now a widget is essentially a dashboard within a dashboard. And just like on a dashboard, when you create a brand new one, like our YouTube dashboard here, you can have as many pages on this dashboard as you want. I have not found a limit. I haven't tried to really, but I've built 10 page dashboards, no caps. Um, so we're gonna close this out for a second and I'm gonna show you a quick example of what I'm talking about with a widget. So with a widget, I've got three on this dashboard, you can essentially nest a dashboard within a dashboard. So if I want to scroll through some vehicle data, let's say I want to scroll through in-car settings. If you're racing LMP1, there's a lot of in-car settings that you can change while you're out on track. But I don't have room on my dashboard here to display all of those. I only have room in this lower left-hand corner to display a few at a time at most. So I've created a widget that lets me cycle through at the push of a button. So in the lower left hand corner, I believe I have this assigned to dash function A or B, one of the two. We're going to try B. And hey, sure enough, there you go. So dash function B will change what is displayed on my dashboard on my USB D480 without changing anything else that I'm seeing on the screen. This is very handy, especially if I want to take a look at my lap times or if I want to look at the relative data to the driver ahead and behind me. All I have to do is push a button. Everything else on the dashboard stays exactly the same. I can scroll through tire data. I can look at linear graphs for brake and throttle. Everything stays the same except for the one section of the dashboard that I want to change. So let's go ahead and let's get in and talk about how to create one of these. So we're going to edit the YouTube dashboard. If you haven't, uh, go back, watch my video on creating your first dashboard. Um, that will get you started and get you to here. Uh, but then when, if you look at the video where I talk about creating pop-up alerts, there's a link to Google Drive there where you can download this exact dash that I am building. Um, I will update the link and we'll post some various uh, dashboards throughout these build videos. Uh, for this one, because I'm not going to actually create anything too useful, uh, I won't post a link here, but I will for the next one when we start to actually create these timers. But right now, all I want to do is create a couple of timers up here. So this first one, we're going to kind of size the box so it looks right. I'm not going to be too picky. This is for demonstration purposes only. Here is our text. We're going to make this. I don't know, let's make it 24. And this is gonna be a time, so it's gonna be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And we're gonna do this, and we're gonna bring this up here. And there we go, this is close enough. Like I said, we're not going for perfection here. We just want it to look right. And this is going to say, current lap. We're going to kind of try to make this look centered. We're going to give it the black background so that the formatting wise, it matches the rest of our boxes that we've got here. Okay, so now we've got some issues where it's overlapping. There we go. Okay, so that cleans this up. Copy, paste it, current lap. We're going to kind of just make it look like it fits. We're going to change current lap to last lap. Oops. Let's reselect all of these. Do this one. We're going to change this one to best lap. Current, last, best. We'll leave it at that for now. Now what we want to do is, I've apparently moved these alerts out of my way. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to delete them out of here for now. So I've got all of these items. We're going to select every one of them. And we're going to come up here to widgets in the upper left-hand corner. 
we're going to hit create new widget from selection. And when we do that, we have to give it a name. Now we're going to call this our YouTube lap widget. Click OK. Now what we've done is basically we've entered into the same screen that we see when we go to create a brand new dashboard. Only the dashboard is now resized to only handle the or only display what we've already created for our widgets. So we're going to come over to here. This is our, oops, I can't spell, driver lap data. We're going to add another screen. We're going to call this relative lap data. Now, because this is just for demonstration purposes and we're, you know, kind of faking our way through this, I'm going to copy this. We're going to go over to our relative screen. We're going to paste it. We're going to change this one to driver ahead. Copy and paste. And we will change this to driver behind. Now in a future video, I'm going to show you how you can edit these, apply some functions to actually have them change colors uh, to see if you are gaining or losing ground to drivers ahead, behind, um, all that fun stuff. But that's for a future video. Let's kind of make this so that the text actually fits. All right. So now within our YouTube lap widget, we've got two screens. We've got current lap, last lap, best, and then we've got our relative screen. So we're going to go ahead and save our widget. We'll go back to our YouTube dash and we will save this. Now when we click on this, YouTube lap widget. So if we want to change anything within this, we have to click edit widget and it will open up in a new tab for us. But we've just built it. We don't want to change anything right now. What we do need to do is we need to assign a trigger action to this. Well, trigger actions are done right down here on the right-hand menu under miscellaneous. So with our widget selected, we're going to give it a next screen command of action A. There we go. We'll save it. We'll close it out. Now what we need to do, in this case, we're going to go to the USBD 480 tab in Dash Studio. And we're going to come down here, trigger dash action A. Now it does say depends on the design of the dash because you might not have widgets built into your dash. You might want to use action A for something else, like resetting your best lap times. All you're going to do is click change. Uh, I use a button box for this. I'm not going to change this because it's already set up. But whatever it is you want to use, a Stream Deck button box key on your keyboard, just assign that hot key to trigger it. But let's go back into here. Let's start this in windowed mode. And now if I hit action A, you can see that it changes from our current lap data to our relative data fields that we've just created. So that's it. That is quick and easy widgets, kind of what they are, how to create them. That is the perfect example of when I like to use them, um, when I am able to scroll through similar fields, uh, type, similar types of data fields that I can't fit all into one screen, or it just looks too cluttered. So now I can scroll through them without changing anything else on my dashboard. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hopefully we can share these with more SimHub users who are looking to get more out of this incredibly powerful tool that we have as Sim Racers. I would appreciate it. Hopefully they will too, should they search YouTube and find this video. Um, if there's anything else you want to see me do videos on, I've got a list of SimHub functions and features um, that I'm going to do future videos on in the coming weeks. But I want to hear from you guys. What is it you want to see me do? What are your Sim Hub questions? I will maybe even just put together a video of answering your Sim Hub questions and kind of building those functions out. And then when we do that, I will go ahead and post the files on a Google Drive. I'll put the links in the description and you can download those dashboards below. So thank you for your time.